HVH on the beat, boy. Yeah, I just made this YouTube and it's popping. Dropping content weekly, I ain't stopping. John Zill, say my name, run it up, 100K. Y'all, welcome to another video tutorial on PreSonus, of course. Y'all know I'm going to keep giving y'all that good insight, them good tips. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so every time I drop a new video, you'll get the alert. So boom, this one's going to be about channel strip. A lot of y'all using Studio One Prime, Studio One Artist, Demo, whatever. You don't have professional. Some of y'all do have professional, and you just wonder, yo, what's channel strip? Like, is it a standalone effect? Do I have to even use these other plugins with it? So, in a nutshell, it's all up to you. You can either use it by yourself, or you can add some power to it with some other effects behind it. Either way, if you're using Studio One Artist, Studio One Prime, you might be limited to this. So, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna dive only into vocals. So, this is vocals. I have one vocal, I'm not putting my backgrounds on here. It's just the lead, but you can apply this to every vocal. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play without the channel strip. I have a wave tune on. Tune into another video where I'm gonna try to figure out how to get y'all wave tune. Uh, it may not be through the, or well, it can't be through the artist version, but I'm trying to figure out a third party way, maybe an app or something to get it through so y'all pitch correction could be on point. Here we go. Love, 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 love. Right, so that's without it now let's double click it if you haven't already make sure that you've dragged it over if you don't know how to drag it go to effects go to browse go to effects go to a uh, channel strip right there and click it and hold it and bring it over to the track that you're trying to add your effect to so I make sure mine's is on double click and there's presets right here when you click this there's presets so if you're a female try these out if you're a male try these out background vocals try those out but I'm gonna just go ahead and click a male vocal and before I start tweaking stuff I want to show you guys that presets work pretty good also so check it out love, 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 love. you can turn down the gain if you want Here's male vocal two. Has a little brighterness to it. Brighterness. Brightness to it. All right. Female, even though I'm not no female. As you can see, these knobs change as I change the preset. So, let's go in and tell you what these are, what everything that tra transpired. So, this is a compressor, and what it is, is instead of you having all those other knobs like a, a normal compressor has with knee, threshold, uh, ratio, and all that other good stuff, attack, release, it just sums it up to a percentage of compressor you can do. Let's go to male, let's go to male two, actually. Male two, has a percentage of how much compressor you're adding, and you can make it fast, slow, or medium. So, most, matter of fact, all the vocal presets in here are set on fast. So keep that on fast. That's your compressor. The expander is like, just like the expand over here. If you have professional, I think you get the expand gate. It's like a gate expand type thing, but um, yeah, it not, all these are off for vocal. So keep that off. If you wanna have it on there, be my guest. Uh, some people might like it, but it kind of it's like a gate. That's the best way to put it. it Tighten all that out and outside noise, all the outer breaths. It'll it'll get that. Um, next is the low cut frequency, and this is EQ, which is the rest of all this is EQ. It starts right here. You can either turn it off, and it there's no low cut, or you can turn it on. And there's low cut. What a low cut is, if you watch my other videos about EQ, you'll know that it's cutting out the the bass in your voice, the low, how I'm talking like this, low, 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 low. It'll make me 
sound a little a, a little higher, higher like this. Instead of like this, it's taking out this, it's taking out that. So it kind of, in a way, it makes me sound higher just because it's taking out my lows. So I'll show you what that does by right now. I'll put this on. I'll put this on mute the uh, beat and I'll just solo this. Love, 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 love. See, like a telephone sort of when it's all the way. Love, 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 love. Next one is the low EQ. If this is down, it's taking out even more of my lows. It's gonna take me. Love, love, love. If I even bring it now, if it's low like this, and I bring it to the right, it's gonna take out even more of my lows. If it's up, it's giving me more hot, more lows. I mean, it's giving me more lows. If I do it, it's taking away more lows. If I do it here, it's taking away less lows. But it's still taking away lows. If I do it here, it's adding more lows, but it's not adding a whole bunch of more lows. So she don't love, 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 love. Just depends on where you want to be. Do you want some bass in your voice or not? Mids is the medium of mid. And this is a three channel band, so this doesn't have all seven of them, like you'll see in a pro EQ effect. So I, you know, it's good to bring your mids over here in the middle. Love, 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 love. So your sound is still centered. You don't sound generic. Love, love, and then your highs. Love, love. This is less highs. Love, love, more highs. Love. Definitely with volume, more highs. She don't love, 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 love. Now let's play it. Let's add some more compressor. So it's not bad. You can turn up the gain. This is the volume. So it's all up to you. Auto. Automatic vocals. I mean volume. So yeah, that's the channel strip right there. Um it's all up to you. Like I said, I would like to add more power to it. I wouldn't just leave it there. Matter of fact, I don't even use channel strip, but it's there. And it is a really good effect. I'm not knocking it at all. It's a great effect. Especially, um, I made this for those of you guys who are limited and for those of you guys who are just curious. Like, what can it do? I'll make more videos about instruments and how that works with the channel strip. But there you have it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so we can continue to keep this thing going, baby. It's pre sonus all day. I'm with it. Yeah. Dropping content weekly. I ain't stopping. Sean Zill, say my name. Run it up. 100K.